What's going on everybody? Rizzo and today we're going to do a review of the Six Hour um, X5 Legion. Uh, like I said, it's going to be uh, just a review, not an unboxing because I've had this gun uh, for a while. One of my favorite uh, guns in the collection. Um, um, it comes, uh, let's talk about talk about the gun. Let's get into it. Um, start with the uh, sights. It comes with the Dawson Precision sights. Um, it is optic ready. As you see, uh, I got the uh, Romeo uh, Pro on here. Um, and of course, uh, when you put the optic on, uh, you do have to take off the uh, the rear sights. But you know, um, kind of just all depends on, on what you want. I think it also uh, the Leopold Delta Point Pro and maybe anything else with that footprint uh, would also be good with this one. Uh, five inch slide, um, eight and a half inches uh, overall. So might not be great for um, concealed carry unless you like to carry a large size, a full size gun. But um, home defense competition um, this thing is a competition gun so this thing will be great for a uh, competition I just I just like to shoot it man beautiful gun alright so it comes with three uh, 17 round uh, mags but you can also uh, you can get larger mags I think the 21 round um, fits in here if you want to get um, more capacity for your magazine but yeah 17 works fine so it comes with a uh, stainless steel uh, guide rod and um, 1911 um, type uh, springs. Uh, gives you two springs, a uh, 12 pounder and a 14 pounder. So depending on uh, you know how you want the gun to shoot, what type of ammo you're shooting, uh, would depend on whether you use the uh, 12 pounder or the 14 pound uh, spring. Me myself personally, I most of the time got the 14 uh, 14 pound spring in there. Um, and I think when I upgraded. Um, you can also get, I think, um, maybe it's come, somebody come with three. So maybe it's a 15 pound spring or 13 pound spring out there. But yeah, SIG, it comes with the 12 and the 14. And also comes with this uh, flat uh, skeletonized trigger. And uh, we'll get into that uh, in the future. But yeah, I love this. Uh, love that trigger on this gun. The grip module is the uh, TXG uh, X series with the uh, tungsten um, infused. Grip, yeah, so this grip is uh, great. Like, so we're getting everything in the future, just kind of going over the basics now. You can see a nice little, little um, pronounced beaver tail on there. So, yeah, yeah, great, great stuff. The overall weight is uh, 43 and a half um, ounces. Um, and you see they got the, the window cuts uh, in the top there, so it kind of lightens the slide uh, a little bit. Uh, I think they look pretty. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good looking. Uh, lighten up this uh, slide there just a little bit with those uh, little, little window cuts in the top. All right, so in addition to the uh, window cuts, you see they got uh, front and rear uh, serrations. Um, a flared and weighted uh, magwell. Uh, the weighted magwell um, kind of helps uh, with the weight. Um, and the weight being down here kind of helps with your uh, recoil. And, and getting kind of back on um, getting back on target a lot quicker uh, now if you don't like a big mag well I think maybe some competition they don't let you have it you can uh, remove it it's a little screw right in there that you can uh, remove the mag well with but I I like it because it kind of helps with with grip so yeah weighted mag well um, on the X5 all right so let's talk about the gun let's let's get into it uh, Initial impressions. When I first uh, held this thing, the, the main first thing I noticed was the uh, the weight. Uh, my experience had probably been in a lot of carry guns, so yeah, the weight yeah just kind of um, stood out. Like I said, 43 and a half ounces, and that's probably about uh, 14 ounces heavier than your typical uh, P320. So yeah, the weight is good, and if you like shooting a a heavier gun, you're gonna love uh, love shooting this. All right, so let's talk about the uh, the grip. Um, like I said, when I first got it, um, I think it, was, it just felt it felt a little big to me until I got more comfortable with it. Um, like I said, I was used to shooting uh, maybe probably subcompact compact weapons, so um, it took a while for me to get used to it. But once I did, I I, I really I really loved the grip. Uh, now it's not really it's not really aggressive, so um, if you got small hands or if your hands get really sweaty, you might want to you know add a little grip texture on there but for me it works out um um just fine i don't have any um any problems at all with the grip you know and that the <laughs> excuse me beaver tail 
just kind of up in there just kind of helps you out so yeah the grip is uh grip is great great grip great grip and the, the beaver tail how you never have to worry about a uh, slide bite or anything like that uh coming back yeah you, your grip it's got your high tight grip so yeah that beaver tail nice and pronounced that is to me that's perfect i, I like that but um in my opinion also it kind of makes it uncomfortable if you're going to conceal carry uh with that um, kind of beaver tail digging in your side, but like I said, it's up to you. Whatever you want to carry, man, you carry. Let's get into the slot. Uh, five inches, um, not hard at all to uh, to manipulate, kind of back and forth. Um, it is a little harder with the 14 um, pound spring rather than the 12 pound spring. So if that's an issue to you, if you got problems, uh, maybe go to a lower weight. Um, on the slot, but yeah, I, I like that uh, springs and yeah, uh, slot to me is uh, is great. All right, so like I was saying before, the uh, Dawson Precision uh, fiber optic sights and uh, the back sights, uh, you have to well, <clears throat> they're there, but you have to take them off if you want to get the optic. Uh, so if you uh, don't want to get the optic, they do have the black uh, rear sights on there for you. But yeah, the uh, Dawson Precision um, fiber optic green uh, sights are perfect, in my opinion. And and both sights, uh, front and rear sights, the black serrated rear sights are uh, adjustable. So if you need to adjust your sights, you can um, adjust them uh, as as needed. All right, so let's uh, let's talk ergonomics and uh, discuss some of these uh, controls. Uh, we'll start with the uh, mag release. And one thing I always love about mag release is when you uh, press it, the magazine comes out. <laughs> love that. So yeah, this mag release is uh, pretty pronounced. You see it got a little, little couple of serrations on the uh, on the side there and it sticks out pretty pretty far. I don't know if you can see that. So to me that's, that's always uh, a good thing um you can uh yeah that gun it just comes right out so yeah I, I like a pronounced uh mag release so and usually uh when i'm shooting i don't really have to well maybe a little move my hand <laughs> if i do not a whole lot to uh to release that uh that mag it just kind of comes right out so that's mag release is is great keep saying great huh <laughs> y'all can tell i love this love this gun Love it. So uh, it comes with the, the pick rail. So if you want to add a um, light, laser, you know, whatever you want to add, uh, you can. Uh, I haven't added one uh, to it yet, but like I said, most of the time I'm, I'm using it. Um, I haven't really done it. I bought it as a competition gun. I haven't done any competitions. So what they tell you, I need to get on my game. All right. So the uh, slide lock uh, release lever, uh, you can tell right there, it's pretty, pretty pronounced. Also, kind of sticks out a lot. So um it's no problem to me just kind of really easy to manipulate kind of easy to just hit that thing and just slide it right on back in there so yeah the slide lock release lever is uh pretty good and also uh ambidextrous so there's one on this side too just kind of hit that and yeah so on both sides it's on both sides so the slide lock release pretty i don't know if you can see that pretty pronounced so yeah i i, I like that um uh, it's just right there you can just hit it and, and just slide right on down um, to your to your grip. So slide lock release is good. Um, take down lever, yeah, take down lever is great. No problems with that. Just right there, pretty easy to uh, to turn. Yep, no problems at all. Not gonna take it apart. We're just gonna do kind of review of it. So yeah. Let's talk about the trigger. Uh, like I said before, skeletonized flat trigger. Um, made by uh, SIG Custom Works and uh, trigger pull is about about three and a half pounds uh, out the box so uh, I don't really think you need to go any lighter some people may want to get a, a heavier pull don't know why like I said competition gun so yeah a lighter uh, pull is what most people would uh, would want so if we uh, look at this trigger you can see um, pre-travel not really a whole lot of uh, pre-travel in there can you see that not a whole lot you can kind of hit that wall kind of yeah, so it's not you know too gritty too spongy nice um yeah nice pre-travel um pronounced wall and when you kind of get back there you hit it 
Ah, oh, look at that click, all right? And then listen to this. Okay. You know what? Let's try it again. Click. And look, watch this. Bam, right back. That reset, perfect. Yep, one of the best triggers out there, my man. You will, you will love shooting that gun. You hear that? Perfect. Pre-travel. You bang, you reset. Yeah, nice, nice trigger. You're gonna love it. Now, I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to change out the trigger. I know a lot of folks, first thing they do when they get the gun, they change out the trigger. So, it's up to you. If you don't like, some people just might want a round trigger. So, uh, the flat skeletonized trigger works for me. So, um, I'm just telling you what works for me. I like it. Um, but I don't really change the triggers a whole lot in my guns. Um, I know a lot of competition people do. If you just change it to be changing, you can, but the trigger's nice. You don't need to do anything to it at all. All right, so we didn't got into the gun. Um, we're going to go to the range, uh, take a couple of shots, check our accuracy. Uh, I've shot it before, so it won't be no surprise. It is pretty, pretty accurate, but we'll hit the uh, range, do some uh, shots, and, uh, and see what we got. All right. So we're out here at the range today. We're going to test out the accuracy on the uh, Sig Sauer X5 Legion. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to I got my target set up down range. I'm gonna take five shots, uh, four squares, five shots at uh, three yards, five shots at five yards, five shots at seven, and five at ten, and then we'll come back and see how we did. Okay. All right. Check out my target. Clean. All right. Let's check it out. All right, so I did my shots. Let me uh did my shots, and I did uh did pretty good. Uh, you see here, I got uh pretty good shots on. Uh, threw one here, but yeah, um, this is the same hole here. That was at three yards. Uh, this was at five, um, seven yards, and I'll, I'll get exact measurements on how big my uh, groups were. That was at 10, and then I did one at uh, 15 also, just to kind of get it in. So, you can kind of get a look at the whole uh, target. Uh, I did pretty good. Uh, to me, that's pretty accurate for that one I threw. Seems to be pretty good. So, we'll uh, go back to the uh, office and wrap up the review. All right, guys. All right, so we hit the range, and of course, uh, thing shoots pretty well. So, uh, it's pretty accurate um, out the box. Um, probably one of the most, well, in my opinion, one of the most accurate guns that I have. So, um, and I got a couple, more than five. So, um, overall, um, I like this gun. Accuracies of five. Ergonomics, uh, ergonomics of, let's see. I love Sig, I'll give it a, 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 out the box. Um, economy, uh, economics, probably four out of five. You could probably get it for around eight fifty, nine hundred dollars So, uh, not bad looks. I think it looks great. We'll give it a four and a half out of five. So, you know, my, my total, what, 4.75 out of five stars? Am I even going stars? Can I put stars down below? Well, I'll tell you what. You like it. Oh, you don't like it. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Uh, leave a comment. Leave some reviews. Let's talk about um, the X5 Legion. Um, likes and dislikes. Uh, we'll be doing a couple more gun reviews. I think next we're going to do the Scorpion. So, that is the SIG X5 Legion. Beautiful gun, first gun review, so tell me how I did, all right? That's it, you guys uh, stay safe, shoot straight, we will talk to you later. All right, so here at Fitty and Tactical, we're trying to give you good quality content, um, especially for new shooters or uh, people that may be uh, underrepresented in the community. So um, if these videos are helpful or informational, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, just kind of help grow the channel. That's what we're trying to do is grow, get to as many people as possible. So like what you see, like and subscribe. All right, you guys stay safe.